Well, hello again, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Armchair Traveler. So if you're a long distance motorcycle rider, you may have some type of a communication device attached to your helmet that allows you to play music, listen to instructions from your GPS, or yes, maybe even take phone calls. Now here's my helmet. It's, uh, it's called a modular type helmet. If you're not familiar with that type of helmet, what that just means, it means that the front flips up like this. And uh, that's very convenient for when you're, uh, say, stop putting fuel in the bike and you don't want to take your helmet off. Or maybe you just have to run into a convenience store uh, for whatever reason. But, you know, you don't have to take the helmet off because it takes a lot of time. And so you can just flip this thing up. And so this is a modular type helmet. So here is the uh, mounting bracket for my communication device and I've got it uh, affixed to the side of my helmet which is the purpose of this video and uh, it has a microphone boom that's attached to it that swings around up underneath the helmet comes up in the front that's what I talk into and then uh, this is the actual communication device here and it simply slides onto the unit you can take it on and off uh, the idea being to uh, uh, for safety reasons and for security, when you don't need it, you can take it off. And uh, then I've also got a plug on the bottom, which uh, you may not be able to see. We'll discuss that in another video when we talk about how I have my uh, system set up. But the main thing we want to talk about today is how I've got this attached to my helmet. All right, so now, so far, so good. We got a helmet, we got a communication device mounted on the outside. I can very easily, with my gloved hands, reach up, work the controls, turn it on, turn it off, answer the phone, um, turn volume up and down, uh, again, FM radio, I can even change the channels. I can do all that. That's all great. No problems. Now, where I ran into a problem is that, let me get back to my helmet. The way this system is designed, this bracket should be mounting on the bottom side here, on the left-hand side. And as you can see, it's got, you know, it's, it's a couple inches tall. Well, that means this thing is going to hang down here on the side of my helmet. Now, some folks maybe don't have a problem with that. I don't know, but I, who knows? Maybe it's just because of the way I built. But when I'm on the helm, on the motorbike, and I'm riding, I can look straight ahead, no issues. Turn to the right, no issues. But when I tried to turn to a left, this unit caught on the collar of my jacket. And I couldn't turn left. And, and I had to really contort myself, kind of raise my head and turn, and then I could still only turn part way. That's not very safe. So I had to come up with another plan. So now, the first thing I had to work out was, if I'm going to move this thing, where am I going to put it? Because again, I've got this modular helmet. Would it fit here? Nah, not really. It didn't work well. So I played around, and what I figured out was I did find a spot right here. I hope you can see where I've got it. This again, left side of the helmet. It's, but it's, it's not down here anymore. It's up here. This is great, and I can still reach it. In fact, it may even be more convenient. Microphone boom, no problem. It's going to come right up underneath there. And the other thing, my helmet being a modular helmet, you can't see it, but it's got a little slide right here. You can see me working it. You see what happens? I have this, this sunshade. It comes down. I need to be able to operate it. So... This spot met all the criteria that I needed to meet for the perfect place to mount this thing and it wouldn't interfere with my collar. Now, what do I mount it with? Because, you know, these things are really, even though it's, it, it doesn't weigh a lot, it's still going to be exposed to the elements, both heat and cold, rain, snow, whatever, and uh, wind, of course, and you don't want this thing to come off. So it needs to be permanently attached somehow. So, what did I do? If you're familiar with GoPro cameras, you'll know that they have these little brackets that you can actually, they come with a camera, you can purchase them separately, and you can just stick those things on, you know, the outside of cars, or in this case, motorcycle helmets, whatever, and when they stick, they're stuck, and they don't come off. And I think GoPro says their cameras are supposed to be good for, I think, up to 200 mile an hour, I think. Now, don't quote me on that. All right, so I thought, well, you know what? If it's good enough for GoPro, it's probably going to work okay for this little guy here. So, 
what is that stuff? So I looked on the underside to see if there was any kind of indication uh, on that tape that they use. It's a double-sided sticky tape. Uh, is there any names or anything on it? And what I found was the words 3M VHB. Now, VHB stands for very high bond. And when I, what I did was I went out on the internet and I started looking around and I found this stuff. And uh, uh, I will tell you I found it at Granger. Um, and, I, and, I, and don't get me wrong, I'm not sponsored by anyone. Uh, 3M's not paying me to do this video. Granger's not paying me. In fact, they don't even know I'm doing a video. It doesn't matter. I just thought I'd help you out a little bit. That's where I went. I'm sure there's other places that carry this stuff. But anyway, it's sticky stuff. Here's a roll of it. It's expensive. This is a half inch roll, 15 feet long. And I paid $70 for it. So it's expensive stuff. But the stuff is fantastic. It, it's actually a replacement for rivets and other mechanical fasteners. I even heard somewhere that Honda uses it on their cars when they build them at the factory. So I don't know if any of that's true. I have no idea. All I know, if GoPro's using this stuff, that's what I want to do. I want to use it too. So I purchased some and I stuck it on my helmet. Now, I will tell you that there are now lots of places where I want to use VHB tape. Just got to keep in mind, if you do use it, once it sticks, it's stuck. Now, the way I understand this stuff, when you first stick it, even though it's a permanent stick, it really doesn't build up this very high bond, or nearly like a weld, for about 24 hours. So don't just stick it on your helmet and then say, I'm ready to rock and roll. Put it on the night before, or two days before, or whatever. But I'm telling you guys, this stuff... This is like it's part of the helmet. I cannot, ex I can't stress enough how heavy duty this attachment is. This thing's not going to give no matter what. All right, so does it work? You betcha. Put it on the helmet, let it sit for a couple days. Uh, rode it the other day. It was uh, 15 degrees above zero when I went, uh, rode into the office. Um, no issues with it at all. The controls worked great. Uh, I, I had no concerns at all. So, again, maybe you don't have a helmet. Maybe you got something else you need to stick. Maybe it's not even motorcycle related. But I'm telling you guys, VHB tape. Amazing stuff. All right, give it a shot. So that's about all I got this week for Armchair Traveler. Uh, stick around next week. I think we're going to talk a little bit more about the electronics on my bike and how I've got that set up for my uh, trips to run all the video equipment and, and everything that I have uh, as I travel. So until next time, thanks for subscribing. We'll see you next time on Armchair Traveler. If you have any questions or comments about anything you see in my videos, please feel free to drop me a note here on YouTube. You can find me on your Twitter at twitter.com forward slash stockmarket1. You can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash GSA Rider 1. And please click on the little yellow box here to subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.